<laughs> it's Valentine's Day, and at an annual event to raise money for the Red Cross, the desperate and dateless ball is in full swing. Couples who have been matched by computer are having their very first date. To find out how it's going so far, we've got Triple M's Jane Kennedy bravely standing by. Jane, are you there? Oh, uh, Richard, yes, and the words desperate and dateless are very apt. Excellent. It, oh, look, Janie, give us a look. What sort of frock are you wearing there, Janie? That's important. Thing. I've got a blue number on, but I don't want them to pan down because I, well, you know, I just don't want it to go down anymore. Okay. okay? That, sure, that's fine. Your personal life's your own. Janie, Thank how you. is the desperate and dateless ball looking? I tell you what, there are just 5,000 people here and they're feeling very hormonal this evening. Janie, I don't like to say anything, but there's a grinning geek sitting next to you. <laughs> There's, there's plenty of those around tonight. In fact, all these people have been matched up by a computer and I saw them all arriving and I tell you what, from the moment they walked from uh, the taxi when it dropped them off down to where we're partying now, it's a very long walk and I was trying to go through what in God's name the conversation <laughs> would be. There was a lot of silent partners. But did you know that last year's uh, Desperate and Dateless Ball, there were seven marriages from it? You're kidding. No. <laughs> I'm serious. So they're original partners or do people go and desperately swap numbers during the... Well, I think there is a bit of swapping going on here, quite frankly. But uh, some, some blokes really got the right idea. They got the, um, uh, the horse and cart. They hired every horse and cart in Melbourne and dropped the girlies off. And uh, some guy even hired a helicopter and dropped his date off by helicopter. What tonight. unbelievable crawlers. I can't believe it. Absolutely. <laughs> now, Janie, have you got a date? That's the big question. Well, um... No, because right. ever since I found out that Stan Grant was married, yeah. well, my life's not worth continuing, sure. really. Sure. Hey, I understand that, but Janie, be brave. You've got to go on. I've got a I cat know. here whose career's shattered. He's going on. I might find a date for that cat. You never know. All right. See if you can pick it. No, don't. There's a terrible line there. Let's leave it. I'm Janie, sorry. You Gumpy's looking. giving me a hard time here. We'll, we'll, we'll come back to you, Janie. You have fun with them. We'll, we'll talk to you later on when they're more drunk. Thanks, Richard. Okay. But don't worry about it. I'll tell you about it later, buddy. It's a showbiz type thing. It, yeah. No, just as well, really. <laughs> well, meanwhile, see, speaking of all that type of thing, still reeling from the whole concept, it's the desperate and dateless ball in full swing. Triple M's Jane Kennedy is lurking there somewhere. Janie, how's it going? I'm a bit stressed, Richard. Yeah, yeah, I can believe that. What, uh, what is happening? What's the state of play? Well, I tell you, the best spot to be is in the girls' toilets because all the girls are going, oh, I hate him. I hate his guts. And they're all running away and everyone's doing the runner. Lots of people have lost, lost their partners. But there are some people, you know, are getting on pretty well. In fact, so I went out and I've gone and found a couple and I just want to ask Andrew and Michelle how they're getting on. How are you getting okay. on, guys? Oh. Uh, okay, maybe... Uh, um, yeah, maybe we might move away from Andrew and Michelle. Yeah, no. Um, actually, I do have another couple over here. This is Herbie and Anne. Yeah, no. nice suit, Herbie. Aren't they, aren't they all a good right. couple? Herbie, you've given Anne the lovely corsage. Yes, I did. Very romantic touch. Oh, you've got to do your best, don't you? <laughs> you do, Herbie. Now, I believe that um, you did a very romantic gesture in bringing Anne tonight. What, what did you do? We came in a horse and cart. Uh -huh. Yeah, OK. Uh, his personal life's his own, Janie. I think we'd better leave him with that. Janie, listen, how do you think, how do you think you're going to finish? How do you think you're going to finish up? Um, well... I don't like to say, Richard, but um, I think I might be getting in the cab and heading home soon. We're actually having an auction of young men. It's purely sexist, yes, I know. There's no women on stage, but I'm going to auction off some celebrities in a minute, so that should be pretty wild, I'd say. Well, Janie, I've got 10 bucks for you if that'll swing it. You know, chuck it in for me. I think Janie, it might thanks help. so much, and good luck tonight thanks, with the Richard. desperate and dateless one. Bye.